I'm Jeremy Collison, and today we're going to be talking about suppressors and repeatable impact shift. We're going to compare impact shifts unsuppressed, suppressed, suppressed with the cover on. This group was with just the muzzle brake. This group was with the can only. This group was with the can and the cover. We're gonna take this back to the bench and do some analysis. I don't really care about this group too much because I'm never gonna shoot just with a bare can. You get too much mirage too fast. The main thing I'm gonna be comparing is can with cover and bare brake. The majority of the time I'm going to be shooting with the can and cover. So this is going to be my zero. There are certain cases shooting from different obstacles where I want maximum recoil mitigation or shorter uh, barrel length. And so I'll run just the brake. As you can see, my point of impact shift is I'm down and over about a half inch with the can on. This is really easy to correct for. You don't have to change your zero. Our zero offset can be compensated for right inside your ballistics app. I'm currently using applied ballistics, but this is available in most common ballistics apps now. Um, first, select your rifle. We're going to be using the Arc Nucleus 6.5 Creedmoor. Long press on your bullet profile and select duplicate. From there, we're going to edit the title to say break and then scroll down to zero height and zero offset. Now this is in inches regardless of what your scope corrections are set for. The scope I'm using is currently in mils but you adjust your zero offset in inches. So negative numbers are up and left. 
and positive numbers are down and right. So we need to come down half an inch, which is going to be 0.5, and we need to come left half an inch, which is going to be minus 0.5. I save that profile, and then we take a look at our 100 yard zero, adjust our wind. And that'll give us down one and left one, which will put us right back on the same zero we have suppressed. And if you normally run break, you just do that in reverse for your zero. All right, so there's a lot of variables that go into impact shift with suppressors. You really need to do this test yourself because even though it wasn't much, it makes a big difference at longer ranges and everything is gonna vary depending on the contour of your barrel, the design of your baffle stack. So it's something that if you're gonna be shooting both can on, can off, you really need to do this test with your equipment and correct for your offset. I hope this video was helpful and thanks for watching.